use it for the transportation of cereals in bulk, such as soy, corn, rice, etc. For loading and unloading, please check the owner's manual. Attention! Polyester chains or braces must be always tight, thus preventing damages to the loading compartment. Before loading, check if the dump, side covers and trap doors are closed. Attention! The bow that is close to the back cover must be mounted in the second hole. Attention during unloading. Unlock the back dump and trap doors. Attention! While unloading in a hydraulic platform dump, keep the tractor truck and equipment appropriately locked. Rundong does not recommend the use of equipment with spaced axles for this type of unloading. When loaded, do not uncouple the back trailer. The implement can have 4, 8 or 12 couplers to carry containers for 20 to 40 feet. Settings for container transportation Configuration for ISO container Attention! Only transport ISO container on the skeletal chassis model of implement. When loading the container, make sure that the bottom is always supported on the wooden floor or on the chassis belt of the equipment. In case that the container is only supported by the couplings, provide the correction in order not to damage the equipment. For instructions on the operation of the couplings, please check the owner's manual. Before moving the equipment, make sure the locking of couplings are set. The mobile ramp is an optional item with a lifting mechanism that makes it possible to unload a 20 feet container. For the operation of the mobile platform, please check the owner's manual. Attention! Before coupling the 20 feet central container to the base, the platform lip must be articulated manually. When the equipment is used to load one 40 feet container or two 20 feet containers, keep the platform lip on the belt of the equipment. Use it for transportation of block type ornamental rocks, concentrated load. For loading and unloading, please check the owner's manual. Attention during loading. Place the couplings according to the blocks that are being transported. The granite block must be supported on the rail ties touching the locks. The load bracing must be done with the original chains that are delivered together with the product. They have an identification link and locks with a plate. Used for the transportation of steel reels. Attention during loading and transportation. The maximum diameter of the reels is 1,600 meters. The positioning of the reel on the cradle must be in agreement with the mount and the weight. For the transportation of three reels, for the transportation of four reels, for the transportation of five reels, for the transportation of an only reel, it's recommended that the on is in the central position and does not exceed the maximum capacity of 16 tons. Brace the cargo placing the polyester brace of the reel. For reels of up to 20 tons, two polyester braces. 
four reels with more than 20 tons, three polyester braces. The measurement 8 must be between 100 and 200 millimeters. Used for transportation of dry load in general, such as items in boxes or pallets, steel plates and bars, parts, crates, cans and others. For loading and unloading, please check the owner's manual. Attention during loading and transportation. During loading, do not use the frontal panel as a stop, as it was not projected for this purpose. In the case loads do not occupy all the length, it's necessary to use a longitudinal bracing device. Use the external or internal bracing points according to the type of load. Use the ratchet model of tighten and belt that follows the guidelines according to the law. Do not brace the load outside the laterals unless it occupies all the width of the equipment. During transportation, double check the tension of the ratchet belt. Lateral hook, ropes, steel cables and chains are not acceptable by the current law for load bracing. Long chassis for transportation of indivisible loads such as pipes, metallic structures, wind blades, etc. Retractable chassis, same guidelines as the dry load model. For loading and unloading and chassis extension and retraction, please check the owner's manual. Attention during loading and transportation. Follow the same load bracing guidelines as for the dry load model. Check the load distribution. Attention during the chassis extension and retraction. Activate the parking brake in order to lock the equipment wheel. Drive the valve for release of the constraints in order to extend or collect the chassis. Always verify for the correct coupling of the chassis locking pin after extending and retracting the implement. Attention! Ripples on the wooden floor due to the loading that exceeds the load limit are not under warranty. Follow the specifications according to the table. Attention! The load to be transported must be evenly distributed on the platform. It's forbidden to transport concentrated loads on the playwood floor.